Sit with my mic. Right. Sub face tougher. Hope you're having a great day today. Looking sharp. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just do my particulars here. Not sure if I can. Nah, I'm not gonna deal with that. I never think of anything interesting to tweet out that I'm live. New strats, new bats. Wait a minute. Yeah, new, new strats, new bats. Come get some tats. <laughs> I don't know. This is why I'm not advertising. All right. I put it back in the Japanese copy. Is it gonna run? No, because it's it's really faulty. I can't be too rough with this because my CD-ROM is beneath my N64 for like convenience. There we go. Yeah, this this funk remix is is a lot better than I thought, or I like it much more than the original. Yes, I don't, yeah, I don't really care for. I, I'm practically a boomer with certain things about technology, and I have no care to actually learn about it. I just want to use it for its intended purpose and then move on. Also, CD ROMs are also pretty. Uh, they're just pretty neat. Because I do have a lot of DVDs and no CD player. What's up, Wounded? Hope you're having a great day. I kind of like being able to burn shit. Oh yeah, that is pretty cool, although I've never done that. Now you gotta buy flash drives or something. I already have plenty, but... I just, I just needed it. I just needed it because I have a lot of CDs. You know, I've been here. I've been, um... I've been working on a dock. I was, I was DMing 8 dude in for almost all today. We were strategizing, talking about, um... Possible new places to save time. In terms of like dying in different mini games, uh, but I didn't get a lot of sleep with, with the ape dude and the other runner. Uh, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night though, so while I was working on it for a couple hours, I felt tired, so I took a three-hour nap. Woke up, I worked some more on um, on the document, but then I got distracted because I was watching reruns of Married with Children, and so I didn't stream. And now I'm doing the classic bit where like I stream only for the last hour of my day. So it technically counts as me streaming for the day. And then the next hour will be the first hour of tomorrow, which counts as me streaming for two days with one stream. That's that big brain, you know, play right there. AKA distracted by furry porn. I don't watch furry porn. No, that's cheating. <laughs> It's not cheating. It's just a loophole. Obviously, I won't do that for like the majority of this whole year-long streaming thing. I only did it today out of necessity because I was working on other stuff. I'll accept it if you stop and start the stream. Okay, sure. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, it's gonna be hard to actually like to remember all the new things I have to do since I'm so stuck in my ways. 
And I didn't finish timing anything. It's all in central time zone. Now I'm in the Vatican. Like I've said that multiple times. Alright, let's do it. So are you gonna... Are you one of the main guys that determines if Mario 2 Run is legit? Yeah, I'm one of the uh, moderators for the leaderboards. I've been in that for at least a couple... at least a year now, at least? For a long time now. After Silo Simon retired, it was only this one other guy, but he also didn't... really moderate much, so... Yeah, it became one, because I, I had a lot of runs submitted at the time. Like when I was just getting started, so I asked... Hey, can I moderate since, you know, Silo's gone and you're also kind of not doing anything? And they said, yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess so, because Silo did. He moderated his own runs. Seems pretty, seems pretty conflict of interesty. I mean, maybe, but I am, I have a pretty reputable, you know, image in the community, so there's no suspicion to be thrown either way. I mean, I can, once I submit a run, ask uh, Cosmo, who's the other moderator, to do it, but if anything, it's probably, probably going to take him a couple days to do it since he's not as active. I guess you have a suit, so we should just trust you always. Exactly, you should. Actually, if I remember correctly, I became a mod because, um, yeah, I just asked Cosmo, who's the one remaining mod that, you know, I asked him, hey, I have a lot of runs submitted, I'm, and, and this is around the time I was just getting started to MP2, I submitted a lot of runs, I was very enthusiastic about it, I told him, hey, Silo's gone, you're not as active as you used to, can I be a moderator so I can, like, get these runs through and, like, have to wait on you guys, and he said, sure, and they made me mod. Uh, at least a while now. You can check the leaderboards, it'll say how long the record's been there. What's the control store? Hope you're having a great day today. And I, of course, never splice my runs. When I do splice, I'll let you know. I would say at least a couple years, cause he, because he... The, the time he got record... It was when Mario Party 2 was the most active it's ever been. And, that's, and that was at least a couple years ago. I'm joining in like on the on the way ladder end when it's like more or less completely, completely died down. Yeah, five years around there. Silo was running it when the community was like a, you know, like a burning inferno and I'm... Fuck, I fucked it up already. I'm joining the community when it's like... Just a bunch of small embers on a campfire. But I still stay warm. Oh yeah, speaking of the new strats, uh, I just fucked it up on this one right here. I'm supposed to spin out on the start to get to gain a boost, but... Again, I forgot because I've been so stuck in my ways for about a year now. Dude, I legit just found out he holds all three minigame world records. Yeah, he's very prolific. I think he also holds some in some other Mario Party games as well. Cause that's a normal, that's a normal tendency for for Mario Party runners start on one game and they move to other ones. No, you don't have to spin out. It, you just you, you exit the start line faster if you spin out. That was a strat that uh, I think Ape told me. That he learned from Gerbys. 
So you're just like passing on the message. Okay, sure thing. It is faster because the last two times I did that, I got two new records in that mini game. Like my pre my previous record was like a thirty four thirty four fifty, I want to say, and now it's like a thirty four forty, I, I believe. So at least saved at least point one seconds. Hey man, why is it? Like, I still have the fan on, on max speed, but a lot hotter. Stop! Um, I mean, last time I saw him, he was learning Duolingo with uh, Russian and Ukrainian. But on one other stream, he was doing Mario Party runs on some other Mario Party game, so I don't know. Maybe he just took a very a very long break doing learning new languages and now he's back maybe a little bit. I haven't checked out his channel in a while, so I don't know. Is that shame from it, from the looks of it? It's been a year. Damn. Yeah, either it's been a, it's been that long since I've checked, or something else. It's, it, it just mu must have been that long. Wow. Oh yeah, another one. Another one of the new strats was in that uh, balloon blob game where you mash A and B. Instead of back and forth on the needle, you mash on the on on the up and down beat of the song to inflate the Bowser balloon about one second faster. And I still fucked that up somehow. Yeah, it's a Shrek speed run. Why was why was Silo Simon speedrunning Shrek? That was four S words in one sentence. Wow, that was a lot of S's. He, he basically conquers a lot of Mario Party and then just goes to Shrek? Why? <laughs> That's good. I mean, you can, it's just, it's an interesting transition. I thought, dude, I was trying to go back to the, the MLG strat, and it kind of fucked up towards the end right there. I got two easy goals, and then the third one, I, I guess I had to move on. No, we didn't. We went back and forth with Lee's a couple other mini games like um, Totem Pole Pound and uh, Shell Shocked in one of the plates, but after doing the math, yeah, yeah, no, no, the plates was as good as Quicksand. Quicksand was the only mini game that offered the quickest uh, reset time, so now I think that spot is is pretty solid. I mostly focused on just movements. I wanted to consolidate all the information we had on 
on movement op uh, optimization and then put into a single dock. It was Ape and his, um, actually, yeah, he told me one of his viewers actually made this whole big spreadsheet of uh, coin totals and time losses for all the new, new places of consideration. And yeah, all of it showed that uh, all of them sucked. Well, for me, Lava Tile Isle is an area for time save, just by pure execution. At least, I think, 10 to 15 seconds. But I was I was really surprised to learn that one of Ape's viewers made this spreadsheet instead of Ape. Like, it was, I was seriously taken aback by how... <laughs> okay. Nice. Um, yeah, I was taken back by how detailed that uh, document was. I I'm gonna show you on stream if I remember. Because it's that document is just evidence of just pure high-grade autism. It was almost beautiful. I can't believe I just nailed a triple kill that easy. It's What the fuck? It's okay, my editor will probably find it when he makes a video. Wario's fault was a mine. For a guy who's so fat, he's kind of hard to hit. It's weird. Yeah, but you learn that you learn quick enough to cherish time save because it could be gone in like that. You don't get emotionally attached, is what I learned. It saves you the heartbreak. Just, yeah, just don't get emotionally attached. Because once a run is dead and you start, start a new one, it's like that previous run didn't even exist. Now look at that, four second time save. There you go. It's like... It's, 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 it's like it even matters. It's like, it's, whew, it's fairy dust. It's, it's not fucking real, as Matthew McConaughey said. It's always been working on the on the now new control that I'm using, so yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, it still sounds pretty like high quality or like good. The A button, B button, A button. Actually, it sounds kind of loose. Like that, that sharp, like plastic sound. It's, I don't know how to describe it, but I know the sound of like a nade button already becoming weak. And that's the sound of it. What a piece of shit controller. But it still sounds better than the pre and then uh my previous button was. Yeah, like sloppy. That's like that's a good way to sloppy sound. It already has a sound too. So when you're working with cheap Chinese electronics, you uh, you know you, you get what you pay for. Yeah, totem pole totem pole pound was a game for consideration for dying in, but reset time was too long.
Oh yeah, he still resents you over the whole uh, debating everyone into thinking I was dead. you. Just so you know, I'm an extremely petty person. I've, uh, I've realized that myself. I was able to deduce such a fact. Delta's dead. He's a robot now. Not a robot, a clone. He hasn't gotten the lower parts yet. Yeah, the shipping and handling price was a bitch. International shipping is just terrible, so I'm still waiting. Oh, yeah, also, yeah, Shell Shock was another place, but the AI tend to not um, hit you with, with as much purpose as you need for a reset. Goddamn supply chain issues, yeah, it's terrible, man. I haven't been able to leave my seat in, in months. I once had this random chick flick me off on the highway, so I decided to block her. Passing any cars for a good five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, that's petty, man. That's, yeah. The very definition. I mean, it's okay. I resent Control Sir too. Because the pictures he, he had for, like, proving the conspiracy weren't even that convincing. Like, the black dudes in those photos didn't even look anything like me. Bitch deserved it. I mean, of course, for giving you the finger. What a horrible crime. <laughs> Another reason why I would never go on the highway. Because there's people who give you the finger, and then people who, you know, block you off from any cars. <laughs> I did nothing wrong, dude. I'm sure you- I'm sure you did. Well, I'm sure you didn't. It's, I'm sure it's the correct phrasing there. But it's okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, road rage, all those. That lady and wounded are good reasons for me to never go on the highway. Also, I remember seeing this one movie. This was during the time where those movie recap YouTube channels were getting really popular. Hey, what's up, Black Ted? Hope you're having a great day today. Um, yeah, if any of you have seen those movie recap YouTube channels where they're getting really popular, I saw this one recap of a movie about Road Rage, starring that um, starring that one guy who was in that '70s movie with uh, Ryan Gosling, the Nice Guys, like the dude. Ryan Gosling, Ryan Gosling partnered with that guy. And it was, yeah, it was a movie about this guy who had uncontrollable road rage and started killing people who, like, uh, did horrible shit to him on the road. So again, another reason for me to never be on the road. Meh, yours? That's pretty alright. Took a three hour nap. We're done some documentation. Ate some biscuits today, and I watched uh, some old TV. I did get into a car accident on the highway. Some random car rendered me at a good 90 miles per hour and decided to run. That's even worse. He hit you, and he ran away. Fucking bitch made. I ended up hitting the driver, and turns out my car had no airbags. Your car didn't have airbags? Why the fuck are you driving a car with no airbags? I don't drive cars even if I, even I know you need, your car needs airbags. Oh, the dividers. Okay. I thought... 
Okay, I thought you meant your I thought you meant your own car did not have airbags. Now, yeah, maybe like I don't know like I don't know why a car would not have airbags though. That's I'm pretty sure that's regulated. Like in order to pass inspection for cars to be out of, out of production, airbags are a necessity, probably by law as well. <laughs> 1970 driving ass. I bet you some cars in the 70s did not have airbags. I'm pretty sure when cars were invented, it took them like two years or five years to invent seatbelts. <laughs> so, I bought it from one of my relatives and they told me it was pretty hit. It was pretty hit there, there was nothing wrong with it. I mean, hit is a relative term, much like your relatives. You know, a dent on your, on your fender, that's a hit. The left side of your car being separated from the right side of your car, eh, that's a hit. But as long as you were all safe and no one you loved or knew got hurt, then, then you know accidents happen. You're human. Luckily, I'm not. I'll send you the vid. All right, thank you. If there's anything I love, it's a nice video of car accidents. It was, an, it was a 08 Impala. I only know Impala's from the song. You know, um, you know the song, um, I wish I was a baller. No, wait, how'd it go? Wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. You know that one? That's the only way I've heard about Impala. My 1995 Dodge couldn't dent the airbag. Wait, Dodge? Could didn't have airbags either. Oh, I thought it was a law for cars to have airbags. I don't know why. Well, I know why, but I don't know why cars don't have airbags. Oh, fuck me! I read chat. I got distracted. Yeah, probably for newer cars. There's a law for it now. Wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. Everyone should thank Dollarman for thinking of it. No things are needed. I do it for the love of the game. And for the children. They are our future. Wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat and a 6'4 Impala. Yeah, see that one. That's the only context of which I've ever heard about Impala. What do you know? I mean, again, you don't need to thank me. I do it. I do it because it's good and for uh, for the children. Also, I have some cookies on my desk as well. Chocolate chip cookies. But it's one of those like horribly packaged ones. And then, like, the cookie's, like, super crummy. Like, it turns into crumbs really fast. Oh, God, I'm watching a YouTube short. Quick, turn it off. Yeah, please turn the... Yeah, don't watch YouTube shorts. You, like... You have to be super desperate to watch YouTube shorts, because... Like, I remember when TikTok was being bashed and hated on for, like... Short-form, repetitive, watered-down, mind-numbing content. But YouTube Shorts is somehow the shitty version of that. You're getting, you're getting a doubly shit version of a product. So only go on YouTube Shorts when you're super desperate or you truly have nothing else to do. Rap really went down the drain nowadays. Yeah, true. I mean, I don't even know which rappers. I don't listen to any modern day rappers that I can think of. Wait, I'm sorry. Oh, Toad, he, I mean, uh, Yoshi, he fucked, he fucked it up. They keep baiting me with e-girls on YouTube shorts. Yeah, that's what they do to me on TikTok, too. I keep blocking all those e-girls. Yeah, Yoshi sometimes kills a run when he, when he misses too many notes. Or when the other CPUs don't miss enough notes, so. It happens. 
But yeah, I keep trying to block all these random e-girls and like goth girls from my TikTok uh, feed. But they just keep coming up more and more. I don't know why, why I keep doing that. No, that was not a new strat. Yoshi just fucked up, as per usual. Yeah, I just got RNG'd out the rectum. That was just... That was just bad. Can you send me the sheet? Actually, yeah, let me show you since this one's already pretty much terrible. Let me show you the sheet that uh, Ape Dudin's viewer made, because that is just... The thing that he made is just autism out the rectum. That's the second time I've used rectum. I'm gonna keep using it. Nah, I don't know. The run was already terrible. The run was fine. Uh, it's, it may be, I just didn't feel confident in it anymore. Um, what was it called? Time. What was the doc? Okay, let me just like find the document. Hey, here it is. Yeah, chat, you look at this and tell me this is not some high-grade autism. Look at that. Look at this baloney. Dollar a beta now, he ain't no alpha. What are you talking about? I'm still an alpha male. Yeah, this is this is the math that one of um one of Abe Duden's viewers did when we were considering new places to die. We we're comparing a deathless run to dying in Shell Shock, to dying in Quicksand, and to dying in Magna Carta. Those are the two places for consideration. And it, I think after all the math was done, Ape first thought that the um, the math was fucked, especially on Magna Carta, but it turns out it was done right. And I think I think he found that the reset time for Magna Carta was faster. Yeah, it was. This was all found to see how can you get the least amount of coins possible, depending on when, on which mini game you die at. I don't know. How, I don't know what this coin, the, the this like time. Well, the 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 coin time lost part kind of fucked me. I didn't really understand what that part meant. But I guess he, he was running against just like average time to complete a level. The coin multiplier at the time, and then how many coins you get. That's basically what was found. Yeah, and, it, and it's still too much time loss. So even even through all of this, we found out that quicksand cash is still the best place to die at. That was all this method is pretty much truly for nothing. No, I didn't add anything. One of Abe Duden, Abe Duden's viewers made this. I had no fucking idea how to read this. But the conclusion was made that quicksand cash is still faster. Showing numbers, how huh? I want to lose viewers, I see. New strat. Yeah, that's my new strat. Got to keep my viewer count, you know, honest and humble. Who's a Rain Man motherfucker who mathed this? I have no idea. But it didn't matter because all this was fucking useless because quicksand cash was still faster. Okay, yeah, Chad, I'm sorry to have poisoned your eyeballs with math. And I mean to make you learn something, let's go back to just this stuff. Uh, the new strats, quote unquote, is just movement optimization. Like on, on certain mini games, like on um, like on slot card derby, you spend on the beginning to get a boost, um, and you don't you don't release the tilt on slot card derby on the outside track. Um, what else? Mm. Oh, and we think that a banished ship is truly all RNG. No matter how hard you mash towards the end of the, like when you when you when you're close to the top of the mast or the flag, it's just RNG up until that point. And there's probably some other ones, but I'll let you know once I get there because I can't remember everything. How do we flip bits so you don't get honeycombed? The sun should should un unleash just a flood of neutrinos to my N64. That's the only way. 
EO education. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you as I go to the new places and try to remember them. Yeah, maybe predetermined, but I think yeah, because Abe didn't figure this out by using turbo controllers, which is just essentially uh, the controller reads in more hits than as than as you actually press it. So it will make like one one of your mashes feel like you know ten or something. So even as he's mashing, truly like a machine, the game always had a predetermined um, chosen victor for abandoned ship. So I, I think it is truly just RNG. That's it's just just either you win it or you don't. I thought it was gonna be a poorly formatted Google Word doc with jargon all over. No, that's what I have. Oh yeah, wait, let me show you my document. <laughs> I just realized. So it doesn't matter how fast you mash it, it's how the how much the game registers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was that was what would have one of uh, Ape Dude and Zero's made. Let me show you the document I'm I'm working on. Ah, uh, oh, crap! I can't open it on a on a thing. Okay. No, there's no math in my one. I made sure not to put any math so I wouldn't scare my viewers. This one is just words. Um, can I show a word? Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is my document. My document was just... was just documenting strat and movement optimizations. That was it. Do you think getting hit by the fish might affect it? Yeah, you do. Well, that was... that was the first finding that being hit by the last fish would affect your speed. But again, given that's all RNG, I don't think it really matters. Yeah, this is my document. Mario Party 2 Coaster Decoded by Daldemet. And look, check this out. I made like a map kind of thing of all the maps of the coaster and I stitched them together to make like one continuous map. I was actually kind of proud of this one. Just like a little, you know, like art kind of thing. I was actually, I think it's pretty cool. Oh, and here, here's where the, here's, here's the closest thing to map, now draw the rest of it, no. This is the closest thing to math I've done. So I set up a table with all the mini games on the hard coaster, and labeling each mini game a type, either S or R. S means a skill based game, meaning that skill or execution is the sole factor in completing the mini game. Or R, R meaning an RNG based game, which is, um, either sum to most RNG, is a factor in the game, no matter, or like, it's a factor in completion of the game. Speed hockey, did I put speed hockey? It felt like RNG because no matter how how much movement I was able to do, whether I was doing, whether I was playing regular hockey, or doing like, you know, the, the MLG strat, it just felt like RNG. RNG is my last cope, like coping mechanism for saying, I just suck at that mini game. I, do, I can't beat it sometimes. You know, just to satisfy all of you, I'll just put it skill, okay? The Canadian disagrees. Okay, well, if the Canadian disagrees, then I have to agree with him. If it's RNG, you should just MLG always. Yeah, maybe, but I definitely don't. Um, yeah, so from this, all of my findings basically found out... This I, I basically found out something that Ape told me, I think two days ago, in which he said... Worlds 4, 4, 5, and 6 are filler worlds, which is, you basically do one task over and over again, and it basically just it elongates the length of the coaster, it's just filler. If worlds 4, 5, and 6 were taken out, the hard coaster would be much more enjoyable, and shorter. And I found that out too, because all of these are just skill-based, you just move, move a certain direction, or you do one task for 30 seconds. Yes, yeah, so all of these are kind of just whatever. I, I was hoping to do something with this a little bit more, but yes, it's it, that's just labeling for the noggin. Uh, yeah, thirty-four. Wait, I should change this now because this is now thirty-five skill-based and eight RNG-based games. 
Okay, so yeah, here, here's all the documentation. I basically labeled out all known current strats. I like the dark color scheme. Oh, thanks, yeah. I, I prefer dark theme anyway, because it's like easier on the eyes to read. Yeah, here I documented all currently known, uh, known best movement optimizations or strats for for all the mini games. I'm currently on Honeycomb Havoc. I've realized that I don't think I've ever mentioned to chat how I play Honeycomb Havoc. I just kind of like just do it. I'll say the last shell shock might be more on you depending on how the Bowser Juniors attack you. Yeah, they do because the. F the furthest away Bowser Jr. sometimes moves left or right. The only shot I have is for when he moves left. When he moves right, I'm fucked. Count the toads, stupid. Yeah, exactly. A lot of the descriptions I have of this look are, um... Where is it? Yeah, roll call. Count the toads, stupid. Or cake factory. Pick up more cakes. Or, uh, where is it? Uh, bobsled run. Bobsled fast. <laughs> Because again, a lot um, for a lot of these simple ones in worlds four, five, and six, you just do a thing and then do it for thirty to min to 30, 30 seconds to a minute. So on bobsled, you bobsled. On hand car, you hand car. On sky pilots, you pilot. Yeah. World cause more RNG. You can't determine the amount of toads. Yeah, but uh, th that RNG is so negligible because you know that for for the Toad mini game. Toads spawn between 18 and 26, only within, only within that range, so you know whatever toad count you get is going to be between 18 and 26. It's not RNG because toads spawn within that limit, it's skill based because you just count. The only execution you do f to complete the game is count toads. It doesn't matter how many toads there are because there's an amount, you have to count it, count correctly, you win the mini game. that's it. So RNG is is essentially negligible. But you can't determine how many of the time you can't calculate how much of a time win or loss depending on how many toes there are. Yeah, not really. And in the grand scheme of the run, it's probably ten seconds match, uh, ma max. Ten second ma max. I wish the RNG was one to twenty six. It would be more fun once in a while. It would just be one. Yeah, that would be kind of fun and a lot of time save. 18 to 26, the game designer had to keep it above child. Exactly, always thinking ahead. So yeah, uh, most likely tomorrow in the next two days, I'm going to finish this doc. Just to compile all the known strats, keep it, maybe post it to the leaderboards for future runners to look at, but... Yeah, this is what I was working on for the rest of the day. And made me tired, so I had to take a three hour nap. Making that map must have been exhausting. No, it wasn't. That was actually the, the most fun part of that document. Because I've always liked Photoshop and editing. Should make it a poster? You know, maybe I should. I should include that in like in a future merch line. A giant poster of, uh, of all the worlds in the hard coaster. Yeah, but it was not exhausting whatsoever. Th the rest of the document was exhausting. With Honeycomb, I just count all the fruits that determine if I should keep them, and even or odd amount. I think I used to do that, but then I realized a better strat, or at least something probably more consistent, even Apton of RNG. Except in one case. There's one case in Honeycomb Havoc where you're fucked no matter what you do. Stop. Bitch needs to get wet. <laughs> yeah. See, look at this minigame. It's RNG doesn't really matter because you know the limit, 1826. Unless you're terrible at counting, the only conclusion is that you need to go back to kindergarten. But count the toads, you win the game. That's all that matters. Like this looks like a good 20. It's 21, but close enough. Finish. 
Yeah, of course, the greatest time save is when there's 18 toads, because that's the minimum amount. And I'm pretty sure most of the previous world record runs had a roll call in which they had 18 or 19 toads. Man, I just now realized my throat gets sore and it hurts at the bottom when I talk a lot, because I'm not used to doing that. The only time I do talk is in the morning when I say good morning to my parents, good night, and then when I go to work. Besides that, I don't talk a lot ever. My throat isn't used to the, you know, exercise. Oh, shit. You have your own place? No, live with my grandmother. He sold this trailer and moved in with his Gam Gam. <laughs> yeah. Grandparents, they're pretty awesome, so... Moved in with them. Wi-Fi is better closer to McDonald's. I can't really recall. I, I don't really folk, uh, know that... I don't know the, the McDonald's location by heart. Okay, yeah, yeah, here's the first strat in this game. Spin out in the beginning to get a boost at the start of the start of the race. And for um, on the outside track, like the one right now, you don't have to let up from the control stick. You just keep on zooming. But for the inner three tracks, you have to let up at least once. Only once though, that's the that's all you have to do. Or maybe twice for if you're really barreling down. So that that uh spin I just did kind of just like it was all for nothing. My I lost three seconds. It was fucking amazing. The clean lady doesn't scare him nowadays. Yeah. Oh yeah, cause yeah, that was the worst part about apartment living. God damn that cleaning lady. I don't see why not you could just save a good amount of money to think about making larger purchases in the future. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, for like a reason to live with grandparents, yeah. I mean, yeah, I am saving a lot of money. Yeah, look. Yeah, true, I do, yeah, save a lot of money. Except when I spend it on, you know, more N64 controllers. That's probably my biggest, that's honestly my biggest, basic, <laughs> biggest expense. English, motherfucker. Yeah, it helps uh, save you up for the future, save a lot of money. You also get home cooking, which is also really nice. Did I actually lose? Wow. You can save up for that e-scooter. Uh, I don't think I want one. Oh, actually, wait, I don't think I ever told you... Actually, I don't think I ever told you the story. Of when I actually bought another scooter recently. Or my uh, my grandmother did. Uh, for To go to work. Uh, but the one she bought was apparently meant for... For, for kids. Like, ages... Um, like, 9 through 14. So when I got on it... And started like, and I pushed on the ignition or whatever to go. It did push me, but it went like, I think max five miles per hour. Like max. I don't know how many cc's. I don't know how that stuff works. But yeah, I was riding my scooter to go to work, right? I was getting like max five to six miles per hour, which was, it still felt pretty fast compared to walking. But as soon as I went on the sidewalk, I hit those bumps. You know, that are meant for like blind people at the intersection of a sidewalk. I hit those bumps and the scooter just died on me. It, it just stopped working. Like I, I like I, I checked the plug and everything to make sure it's still plugged in. I kept hitting the thing to go and the scooter just died. Three little bumps on the sidewalk and the scooter was kaput. Did you have to carry it? No, as soon as it died, I called an Uber to work. <laughs> 
Yeah, I was thinking about maybe a moped. I'll get a moped instead. Is that meant for your girth? Yeah, I'm just too much of a man for that scooter. That's honestly what I did. I was at an intersection. I was probably a good, um... Let me think. It's, um... It's, a. Um... It, it, I think it was about like a 20 minute ride on the scooter. Oh yeah, that's a funny thing. I think it probably takes 20 minutes approximately for, for on that scooter to get to my house, to my workplace, right? The scooter died exactly in the middle of the ride to where it would have taken me 10 minutes to take the scooter. I The scooter died in the middle of my trip. So I thought to myself, I'm not walking I, I'm not walking a 10 minute scooter ride to work. I'm not, I'm not doing that. So I just called an Uber. Because I'm not doing that. You can go up to 40 miles per hour in our street league and I don't think you they need to be ride assured. Oh no, they don't. They, 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 don't. they don't. Were you late? No. Well... I can't remember because that was so long ago, but... I definitely made it to work within a reasonable amount of time. Did Grandma take it back to Walmart? I don't think she bought it at Walmart. I think it was like, um... It was some other, like, electronic store. But luckily it was like... I feel it was, it was only one day after I bought it. So she, she did return to, for, return to whatever store and got a refund. So yeah, she did. I wasn't tardy, I'm never late to work. Hold on, correction. I'm never late to work without a good excuse. If you don't mind me asking, what do you do for your job? I'm a gigolo. I dance half naked for middle aged women for money. It's not honest work, but uh, it pays the bills, Chad, alright? Oh, what's up, AJ? Hope you're having a great day today. My sub just bugged out. Fuck you, Dalda. Okay, I guess that's my fault somehow. I take full blame for that. Sorry I'm late. I had to shit. Works every time. Okay, nice. What do you mean it pays the bills? Like, it pays well. You live with... You live with Gram Gram. See, that's the thing. Face Duffer calls calls them Gam Gam, and you call them Gram Gram. The fuck. No, I mean, I, I still have to pay because she's getting, you know, old. So, you know, older, and uh, would prefer it if I contribute. Which of course I don't mind because she's family. Don't want her to have to uh, work harder than uh, than needed. So, yeah, I contribute to rent. The fuck is Gam Gam? That's what Face Ever calls Grandma's. He pays about three fifty. Pay but a discount. Yeah, I get the family discount. Ah, oh, that was almost a double kill. You end up working on... Did you end up working on any new strats like where you die? Yeah, we were just talking about that. I shut off some uh, some documents, an Excel spreadsheet, and a Word doc that me and another runner were working on, but we realized that no new strat can beat the current strats. Besides small movement optimizations, there's there's nothing else to it. Yeah, speak Arabic and we say completely different. 
Oh, okay. I was just wondering. 350 and free cornbread? Sign me up. <laughs> I'm sorry, that cornbread's only meant, only meant for me. It's only meant for me because she loves me. Sorry. Did you fix that eating habit of Mountain Dew and Pringles? That wasn't an eating habit. I, I never had Mountain Dew at my previous place. And I had Pringles twice. So, yeah, sure, I fixed the habit because it never existed. I fixed my sleep pattern, I just don't sleep. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, as long as it works, man. I definitely don't have that because, you know, I get I get home cooked meals every day. So, if it was a habit before, it definitely isn't one now. We were talking about it, and I was educating you about it. I'm sure you were, but it was never a habit, man. Like maybe I'm pretty sure Mountain Dew is a common meme for like uh, streamers and gamers to drink but I think I've been a me only f last time I had Mountain Dew I remember was during the start of COVID or was it COVID or some holiday I think I was in I was in college during a break I was the only one in my dorm room and every single day I ordered a small personal pizza from Papa John's and a 20 ounce Mountain Dew. I had a small pizza and a Mountain Dew every single day for about two weeks during that time. Your diet needs more pizza? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I do like pizza. That's so damn unhealthy. Yeah, but I did it and I'm still alive, so uh, I'm fucking immortal. So, yeah. I remember once, f fuck, how did I spin out? I think towards the end of that break, I had a, I, the, the empty pizza boxes stacked to about like, how did I spin out again? What the fuck's wrong with me? By the, by the end of that break, I had a stack of empty pizza boxes, I think like close to my like navel. Like from the ground to, the, to my navel was a stack of pizza boxes. It was cheap and it fed me and I just didn't give a fuck. Yeah, that's the boost at the very beginning when you spin out. I used to eat chicken tenders for supper almost every night. If I didn't eat those, I eat pizza. <sighs> nice, eating like a king, man. The king of his castle. Oh yeah, I have cookies right here, I just forgot. Do you like these small chocolate chip cookies that crumb very easily? Shit, now it eat dust. Nice. I hear I hear dust has less fat. So good on you, man. Actually no, I just realized my biggest my biggest expense now is actually my editor. Since I now have a new editor, so... It's actually that guy. Yeah, a tie still means a loss. I have to be... I have to have more than my the, the opponent. He pays him about 350. <laughs> the guy from the last stream? I mean, there are a lot of guys on that stream. Who are you referring to? Okay. Yeah, Ganja was there. No, Ganja's my ex-editor. He had to quit because of, um... 
college and work uh, issues. He was focusing on that, so he couldn't edit for me anymore. So, so then I found a new guy. Yeah, it was uh, his name is Orange Nader. And when, when he said he could edit, I thought he was just like, you know, like just fucking with me or baiting me. But later on in the day after the stream, I DM'd him. And then he said, yeah, he actually was interested. And then I, uh, you know, sent him the materials and then he made a really good, actually a really good video, so, yeah. I know there aren't that many people, keep it humble. What do you mean? No, there were just a lot of guys as in usual. I'm not saying like to brag, what the fuck, like I know, I know what my viewer account is and I know who's here. The fuck? Like a, a lot of guys or a lot of people to me is... Um... Like my normal crowd right now. Face Stuffer, Blacked Head, um, Ganja, Orange Nader, sometimes Pummel, Controlster, AJ. Like, those are a lot, a lot in my eyes. It's not like an ego thing. Videos have been fire? Thank you, I thought so myself. I made sure he kept it within a similar style that I like to work in. You know, like simple, clean edits, transitions and whatnots. Oh yeah, Girth, but I think he's only shown up like once, but yeah, also him. That to me, in my eyes, is a lot of people, so... You know what? I'm not going to be humble about it. I do have a lot of viewers. Okay? Okay, Black Ted, yeah. Just keeping it honest. I do have a lot of viewers. You named me a second place honored? Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, but Breezy hasn't been here in a while. Or at least I don't recall him being in recent streams. Oh yeah, I remember him because, yeah, he's VIP, he's, he's earned that badge. Yahoo! Oh yeah, and Anbol. I guess this, damn it, how can I forget him? Anbol, he's an, another VIP, but yeah, also him, shows up frequently. So yeah, a lot of people. A lot of viewers. Just how it works. Let me see if we can do this without any spinouts. If I can, it'll probably lead to, a, lead to a new record. Like in this mini game specifically, not like a world record. If I do two, then oh, that's gonna lose. Shit. Yeah, I'm so not confident, damn it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, one time you had a hundred viewers cheering you on. I've never had a hundred viewers. Like, if you're gonna lie about me, at least make it believable. Yeah, 15, I, I think I do remember one time reaching 15 viewers. I think, that, I think that was during either a raid or I was on a world record pace run a couple months back. Or maybe it was more recently and then I showed a bunch of math on stream and they left. It reminded them too much of school.
Not so wounded. Uh, pff, nothing. Just chatting about whatever. Ah, dude, what am I doing? Yoshi, you suck. Isn't that, that's my, that's like my third time dying in Cake Factory. What's what's going on right now? Am I truly out of it? Am I am I that tired right now? Man. Yeah, that that must be my third time dying in World Two. It's so weird how people fill in when it's a good run. Yeah, it's crazy. It's almost as if people are only there for the world record and just to see it, and then they leave. Bunch of unfaithful bastards. Oh yeah, wait, there's a word for people like that, I learned about them. Um, I think it was from like Little Flow, someone told me they're called, uh, Pace Pals. Yeah, like, like, uh, like Pen Pals. Pace Pals, people who are only there for the stream when it's a good run, or like a world record run. Bunch of disloyal, unfaithful bastards. I'm not VIPing you, Wounded. Thanks for asking. I was wondering what the fuck Pace Pals meant. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Flo or some... Some viewer told me that. Like, someone else who's more in tune about, like, speedrunning streams and... Speedrunning communities. I'm not sure if that's, like, a shared term around. That, because I just learned about it, but... Yeah, Pace Pals. Bunch of unfaithful, disloyal... Generates. Ah, oh, Peach. Slut. Dude, I've been here the whole time. I just stepped away for five minutes. Yeah, no, I'm not calling you a, a pace pal. We were just talking about the term. Like, it's a new term that I learned. And I was just like bringing it back up. Because we were talking about viewer counts. Like, one time I had like 15 viewers. And I couldn't tell if it was from a host, or from when I was on a really good paced run. I've never been loyal and I'm not planning to change that. Okay, cool. Keeping it honest. Why don't you add a, a new re redeem for that? Eh, nah. In my eyes, VIP has to be earned. If, if we're keeping it true to the word and assuming there's like, value in it and having it, it must be earned, you can't just buy it. Because as soon as you commodify something, it becomes cheap, it becomes tawdry, commercial, it becomes useless. If the whole system is just pay to win, then the richest bastard just wins everything. And this isn't capitalism, okay? It's a dictatorship. And I'm the king, baby. Alright? Because he likes to torture his chat. I'm not torturing chat, it's just... I have my principles, damn it. A professional has standards. How do you earn VIP? Uh, I really... Or originally, and I think still too... Gave VIP to... Um, f uh, the funniest chatters, the chatters who... Contributed most to either conversation or... Or dialogue. Face stuff earned it because he was a <laughs> face stuff was the most consistent um, chatter, the funniest chatter that I've had. Like uh, face stuff at the time and still now is like he was like breezy, but less toxic, more fun, you know, more fun to talk to. So that's why he earned it. He always kept spewing off nonsense about Canada and his. Starlink internet problems and his dog shit pickup company or whatever. So that's why he earned it. Wait, man, I'm pissed that I, I can't give my cameo anymore. Oh yeah, I couldn't trust that cameo anymore. Knowing about some of the ideas that people had for cameos, I couldn't, I, I couldn't trust it. I don't need videos of me saying that weird shit on the internet. And then for my family to somehow come across a pawn. You're a sadist beta. I've been your medical advisor? Yeah, you're my medical advisor. That's reward enough. 
fucking rules, damn it. Oh yeah, and the water redemption, that was fucking terrible. The cameos were gonna turn out super terrible. Um, yeah, the VIP is just pay to win. No, I don't support that. Because pay to win is the same shitty mechanic that, ev that everyone complains about in modern gaming. The last thing I want to do is... Uh, is like, you know, copy from that system. Dalda is not beta, he's a delta. Thank you, I guess. Yeah, all you got was some weird shit being added. No offense, but it was weird. I mean, it was. It's specifically for the cameo redemption. I don't want. I don't want the stuff that I. I don't want the messages in there. Thing. Okay, hold on. How do I say this? Words are difficult, chat today. I don't want the messages that were said in those redemptions. Hold on. What am I trying to say? Uh, hold on. My words are failing right now. Oh, fuck. What am I trying to say? I don't want the weird messages that I would have said in those redemptions to be circulating around on the internet for friends and family to somehow see or come across upon. That's what I'm trying to say. Christ alive, I can't speak. I think Control Sir was close to redeeming it and also Lux. But Lux hasn't shown up in stream in months, so... Um, so I can safely say the damage would have been minimal. It's a family-friendly fr stream, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if it is, because I, I swear... I say bad words all the times. We discuss truly, like, disgusting topics on, on stream sometimes. No, I didn't forget to mention Lux. I didn't say Lux because she, has, she hasn't shown up in forever. She hasn't shown up in months to stream, so she's... Might as well be gone. In a certain way, I mean... I guess in a way my stream is family friendly. Like... She was the best editor. <sighs> I'm not sure she was the best editor. She was, she was my first editor. Definitely. Um, probably she was probably the best one as in I'd, I think I had to tell her the least amount of things for her to make videos. So maybe. Yeah, maybe I'm just tired. I don't know. <laughs> that three-hour nap probably had to be longer. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't intend on having my streams be family friendly. I I think they just end up that way. Because, yeah, I do swear, I say oftentimes not the best words. The topics of discussion on here are sometimes very crude, disgusting even, sometimes, so... I mean, yeah, I, I don't intend on this being family- fuck. Family friendly, I, I think it just has a... It has a low glow of friendliness to it. And why not? I'm a very, I'm a very um, you know, friendly guy. It's all family friendly until Dada yells fuck. I have never yelled fuck. I've said fuck, but I don't yell. And then someone brings up furry porn. Face tough- oh yeah, you. <laughs> I thought someone else typed that, but yeah. You exactly brought up furry porn the first five minutes of stream. Like quite literally, when the stream just started and I talked about why I was on live. You said, oh, Dalda, because you're watching furry porn. And of course I wasn't, because why the fuck would I do that? I have a patient... Fuck. Get distracted. I have a patient at my clinic who is an absolute Karen when it comes to some of the therapy we work on. The ironic thing is that her name is Karen. <laughs> oh, nice. The poster behind you, a man of the church. You got the religion in the back. I get true, I am a very religious man. I was thinking about the furry 
the fury t wait what i was thinking about the furry teacher they have an ontario school i've never heard about that although that does sound like a lot like the canadian education system but if a on if an Canadian teachers are furry, then that sounds pretty bad. Like, teachers should not be furries. They should be, you know, educators, not degenerates. My grandma's name is Karen. I have to be careful about Karen jokes around her. <laughs> I, I guess so. Oh my god, Chad. I saved 0.1 seconds on that minigame. Is this for a record? Because I, I don't know. What type of porn was Delta watching? Face? No, I wasn't watching porn. He was just assuming I was watching furry porn. I don't know why though. They educate you on being a furry. I don't think you need education for that. You just naturally fall into being a furry when you know your father isn't in the household and your mother abuses you and. You know, you've never touched a woman in your entire life. You just naturally become a furry in that sense. And there's a transsexual with a with giant fake tits teaching shop class too. Wow, that is <laughs> Oh, I thought I was nineteen. Okay. Weird. I can't, I, don't, I just don't know what to say to that. Wait, how do you know? Okay. How do you know it's a... Like, how do you know they're fake? Or like, how do you know it's a transsexual? That's... That's my main question. How do you know that? What is this? No, I just clicked it. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, never mind. Face suffer, yeah. I, I get how you see that's fake. It's. Dude, get this the fuck off my PC screen. Yeah, face suffer, I was gonna ask, how do you know they're fake boobs? And then I saw the picture and I thought, oh, yeah, that's how you know. <laughs> okay, yeah. That was. Overall, more masculine build rather than a feminine build. I mean, are you sure? Because... Okay, okay, I was going to make a joke about armor and stuff, but okay, yeah. That's, uh, that's very interesting, that picture. And I forgot to spin out at the beginning again. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with, with Canada right now in their education system. Her boobs, her boobs get in the way when she uses the saws. Oh yeah, true. If she's on shop class, then she has a lot in, you know, obstructing her, you know, area of work. Yeah, but like, fuck it. So like, I can't remember to to spin up because I've been, I've I've never done that strat for like a year now. I've only done my stress, my route, my execution for a whole year. So you know, you know the phrase you can't teach an old dog new tricks. It's kind of hard for me to learn new tricks now. Them titties. Yeah, true. Do all the strats, Dalda. I'm doing my best, man. But I'm tired. I'm eating terrible crummy cookies. And I just learned these strats like a couple hours ago. So I'm doing my best. Silicone titties. 
No condoms, no diseases. Isn't that the opposite way, opposite way around? Like, if you have no condoms, then you get diseases? I'm pretty sure that's... I'm pretty sure that's, that's how it works. You don't want no monkey pox? Oh yeah, it's like, is that... I haven't heard much about monkey pox, so like... Like any like major outbreaks. That's how we say it in Canada. Of course, that's a use. That's how you say it, because you, you have free health care. You get a venereal disease up there. You get a pill in like two minutes. Basically, if you're nailing the same gender, you're a huge. You're at a huge risk to get it. Wait, if you're nailing the same gender? Finish! Wait, so like if I have sex with a girl and then sex with a guy and like I alternate between the two continuously, I won't get a, a an STD? Is that what you're saying? It's free if you go to the hospital? Oh, nice. Gay or lesbian, mostly gay. Isn't that the same thing though? Isn't lesbian just female gay? Or like... Uh, are we somehow working with new terms here? I mean, butt sex also comes with its troubles and consequences. Oh, gay dudes are the ones contracting the disease. Oh, okay. From, yeah, from having butt sex. Okay. I mean, both, but... But dudes and women have butts as well. So it's like... I'm not sure if it's equal likely now, or just... Like... You, you still have a chance to get it. They're giving the vaccine to gay dudes around here. I felt discriminated. Don't you have a wife? Patient zero for HIV was a gay flight attendant from the U.S. named Gatan Dugas. Look it up. I've never heard of that, but I'll remind myself. Girls are more delicate when it comes to sex. Why'd you type sex with two G's? What? They're more delicate when it comes to sex? Like... When you say del- Okay, never mind. Okay, sure. Guys are more hardcore. I mean, maybe on average, but maybe- There's probably like some dudes out there who like to take it like- Like, you know, slow and steady. Like, because you can't- You can't have violent, hardcore butt sex all the time. So sometimes dudes, you know, also have to be delicate and be like- Slow with it. Yeah, they wouldn't give her the vaccine either. Oh yeah, that's just discriminatory at that point. They don't really go for butt stuff, they go more for vag. Ass to mouth to ass to vag. Repeat profit. <laughs> Ew. Like, I guess I just truly don't know anything about all that stuff. Man. I thought it was more simple. He was like, I don't care when the doctors told him to stop having sex. He gave it to a couple hundred people and died mid-30. Damn. What a fucking asshole. And doing it by fucking assholes. Highly legal to do that now? I mean, yeah, because you're basically like, you're. Because you're literally fucking someone over by fucking them. So, yeah. Nice pun, thank you. I was hoping someone would catch that. See, chat, sometimes I'm funny, okay? You see, Black Ted, that shit you said a couple days ago, it still kind of hurts me that you said, um. That you said, uh, Dalda, we're the ones with the jokes. Or like you just wear a suit or something. 
sometimes I I'm sometimes I have a good one. I have a you know a witty thing. You know I I got I have a sometimes I got it. To be fair, HIV was new back then, so nobody knew what the effects were. No, oh, yeah, I guess so. If you if you never never know, get over it. I'm sorry, I can't. You hit a. Uh, what's it called? You uh, struck a nerve. See, women are. See, women can be delicate, but men can be sensitive. So put down your fact book, wounded. I said it like five days ago. Well, it felt just like yesterday, okay? The wound is still fresh. Wasn't it from the 90s? I thought it was like from the set. No, yeah, it was from the 90s, cause, cause Easy E, the rapper, died from AIDS. I knew that was a big thing, so yeah, I think it was the 90s. Yeah, you see, yes, wounded. Yeah, I see, I, you, see, I, I said the thing like your name. See, see, see. Sometimes I'm funny. Like, I, I got a pun. I have a, I have a witticism. I can, I can strike while the iron's hot. Patient Zero co killed Easy -E and Freddie Mercury. Damn, two legends. Got a double kill. Okay, I'm sorry, my bad, no homo though. Okay, it's alright. It's alright, man, I'm just. I just. Th fuck! It's alright, man. I like it better knowing you're a doctor because you like to fix the wounded. That's a good one. I mean, Easy E wasn't gay though, right? Freddie Mercury, I'm pretty sure it's common knowledge that he was gay. But maybe, maybe Easy E got it from like a needle or a needle or something. I don't know. I used to think it was about a yo-yo. What was? I haven't thought about yo-yos in years. It's been a while. Oh yeah, maybe from some like random whole bag that he got in bed with. Oh, wound. I, I think I made that same mistake too. I think I... I always call them wounded up instead of wounded, because... You know, words are... Not my strong suit, apparently. <laughs> Guys, stop, it's cringe. Eh... Yeah... These are our voices and I will not be shut down. Exactly. Fight the power. It's why we make 78%. You don't make 78%. Like god damn it. Even if you were somehow my manager, face tougher. You're not making 78%. Okay. You, sir, are a misogynist. I mean, being cringe is... Um, 
this uh, there's something I heard about that like a pretty good saying like along the lines about like being cringe and like always fearing about and fearing about being seen as cringe is like it was like the phrase was like don't cringe eliminate what cringes or something like that it was like it was like it was a really really good phrase I can't remember it. I don't make 70%, we divvy it up amongst the top chatters, obviously. I'm definitely not doing that, man. I have, I have too many top chatters, cause, so like I would eventually, essentially make nothing. Yeah, it was like, it was some phrase I heard about like, not being afraid of being seen as cringe or like just saying and doing as you do. It was like, don't cringe. Eliminate what makes you feel cringe, like something like that. We're like a cooperative, a cooperative here. I mean, maybe in the chat sense, but in the earning sense, it's all me. Like I have to be the one to earn the uh, the profit. As your manager, I'll get you an accountant to cook your books. Thank you, that's actually much appreciated. Shut up, I can't read the dub. It's, it's okay then, just just watch the sub. It's just as good. No need to be picky about it. Ah, oh, Yoshi. Oh, finally did something useful. Oh yeah, my cookies. I keep forgetting I have cookies right here on my desk. Oh, there's time. I'm, I'm not looking at my splits because I know I'm green. But I'm not looking at them so I don't get like performance anxiety or like, uh, or, like I don't get attached to my gun. So I have no idea what my splits are right now. Thank you for telling me since I asked what they were. Well, did. Thank you very much for that. Don't pop a speed boner. Yes, that's essentially what I'm trying not to do. Try not to get emotionally attached to this run. Just treat it like some, you know, some corner side whore. You know, you pay your two bits, you get off, and you leave. Ah, uh, don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall. Nice. You're very welcome. <laughs> Thanks, man. Mm, he's one second lost, maybe. No, yeah. So I have 31k points and I am debating about spamming the glasses to redeem. I mean, you can only spam, spam them within five minute intervals. Or like, with, like a, there's a five minute waiting period. Because so, people can't spam them. Like that fucking water redeem. Okay, when did I learned my lesson, alright? I learned from my, uh, my past mistakes. You're welcome. Thank you, Blackhead. What's up, Face Duffer? Me and Breezy had fun. Yeah, and then I shut down your fun. No, I, I think it was DJ, one of my, an, uh, another old viewer. I think it was DJ and Breezy, maybe. No, maybe it was you, but I know DJ was also involved. Because he just, you know, sucks. Yeah, with the water redeem, yeah. Yahoo! 
Maybe you in initiated it, but I, I specifically remember DJ also being in there. I probably change that to instead of saying normal, I'll just say glasses because I don't I don't put on the the cool shades anymore. We really end stream if we redeem the one million points. It's not one million, it's ten million. So no I will not. But if you do redeem the ten million then I guess I have to, since it, it, you d you redeemed it to end stream. But if it but if you redeem it, I'm on like a world record pace run, then I'm not doing it. Or like I'll do it after the run. Who's mod here? Well, no one, since no one moderates my stream. Since there is no need to, so any mods in this chat are completely. Uh, Decorative. It's gonna take a while to accrue 10 million? Yeah, it will. Wounded sounds like me when I had my anime training arc against control stir. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, that does sound pretty accurate. I'm not modding wound. I'm not modding anyone, actually. No one needs to be modded. I, 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 I will stick by this point. Nothing has happened in my stream for the past months that has required moderation. Like, I stopped having those stupid advertiser bots come into my chat to spam that stupid link about, ooh, buy viewers, primes, and followers from this link. I don't have those anymore. There are no bad chatters who come in and ruin the chat experience, so I don't need mods for that. I don't have mods to handle the back end of stream stuff like stream titles or VOD management or whatever. So I don't need mods for that. I truly don't need any moderators. There are no bots, Controlster. There are none of them anymore. You are not the bot slayer. They like or like they, they've all been slayed. I'm the mod when something dull that needs done in chat. There's nothing I need done anymore, though. Or, like, there's no one. There's no need for you to be mod. He's the Dalda Slayer? He doesn't slay me. You forget, I'm the... I rule everything here. Okay, th this is a dictatorship. What's up, Face Stuffer? I'm the king. You're the plebs. He killed you for a week. It wasn't a week. I just felt tired and wasn't consistent with the schedule. Yeah, those are his words because he lies. He fibs. He fabricates. You can't trust anything he says. He's the mod. Now if I unmod him, if I unmod him, then he won't be. He'll just be another common pleb. You think he's smart enough to build a Dalda bot? I didn't build a Dalda bot. Darkest Foe built it. He's the guy I go to for all my like botting needs or whatnot, or like when I need scripts made. It would upset chat if he wasn't mod. How? Why would it upset chat? Again, he doesn't moderate anything because there's no moderation to be done. He still has power? Not if I unmod him. I can unmod him like that. And you have no power. Because nothing needs to be done and or moderated. I'm thinking about doing it just just for the shits and giggles, like just to like 
just to like make you realize the reality. Yeah, the RNG, the bag was right over my head and I had to die. That was so stupid. Controls who made the sick emote? No, he didn't. That was a picture I found off Google Images. What do you mean he made the. That was Google Images that made that uh, thing. Ah, oh, shit, I have to make too many coins. Yeah, but the banana pocket emote is still pretty cool, but... Yeah, that's all Google Images, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Again, I'm not looking at my split, so I don't know. But if from your telling me, I'm green currently, so I'm still not going to look at my splits. I'm a dumb green bitch. It's a good thing Wario died because I don't like him running around. There's greenery in the scenery. Nice. So I'm just not, I, I don't need the expectation or the like anxiety to hit me. I'm just gonna play like it's a normal run. Just don't get attached. Nice. I forgot, I forgot it's so much about that emote. The whole hand spinning the, the sausage. I was looking at Mario, fuck. Oh, just repeat it. Just, okay, just repeat itself. My internet just died for 10 seconds. Elon owes me a blowjob now. Or, sorry, a blowjob meow. Yes, he does. Dollar signs are nothing inappropriate. No, I didn't think they were inappropriate. I just didn't know what they were. I thought... I thought the green in his eyes were like... We're representing, you know, like green splits or like green time save. I'm not sure what emote that is, so I'm not sure if it should work or not. Yeah. 
furry nonsense. Yeah, that's essentially what that emote is. Is that Knuckles jumping Sanic? Yeah, he's jumping him. Definitely just jumping. Why? I don't know. Just, you know, helping out his buddy. I miss when we could customize the background. Oh yeah, the yeah you mean the 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 um, was the SBR bot? I had a bot that would randomly change the background of my splits. All right, this is GG's one. I'm in a bad spot. This is GG's chat. Whenever I'm last and the honeycomb is at, is at the highest spot, I just lose. I just lose. It's, that, this is the one scenario in which you always lose this. Peach picks one, Wario picks one, Mario picks one. I don't know why they coded in one scenario in which you always lose. Nintendo, for the geniuses they are, are fucking dumb shits. In other genius, they made the perfect Mario Party game except this one thing. Eh, keep it going, why not? Only behind like 30 seconds, but eh. it doesn't matter if you pick one or two, it's just like you're always screwed. It's gonna be at least 30 seconds since I, since I have to play it safe around here. You bully us, declare Dalda as dead, and just use your position for nothing good. Add a control control stir. Yeah, exactly. Wait, I would be very disappointed. If I lost mod after how long I've been here and have done my best to help you. No, I've done I know you've done good in the past, but now there's no need. Like one, two, three. Fuck. There's nothing to moderate, there's nothing anything to do. That mod badge is just aesthetic. I might fire him. If he keeps giving me an attitude. <laughs> That's not world record. It died when I lost um, t uh, the first attempt at this mini game. He's the glue that holds us together. No, he's not. I think yes, and she no. Yeah, I'm f dude, I'm already 45 seconds. Unless I do somehow perfect, absolutely perfect. In the last two lava mini games, yeah, this won't, this one at all. I can't die in in Honeycomb Island because it's the longest mini game in the entire coaster. So if I die, it's GG's. And Nintendo fucking dumbasses coded in one one scenario which you always lose no matter what you pick if you're last in the line. You don't really bully us, but I had to say something so you look bad. Didn't worry. <laughs> nice. What if you pull out the memory card? There's no memory card, it's an N64. You mean, you mean like the expansion pack? Because that won't matter at all. Yeah, but there's no memory card, unless, unless you mean the expansion pack. Oh, 
Oh, the wrong. Oh, yeah, this one, the memory card. No, that won't matter because this game doesn't run on the memory card. Only Doom and Quake use this memory card. That's a good four second time loss. Would be time save, but yeah, either way. All right, abandoned ship. Let me just bend on over and then uh, let you take care of it. I think this is a good setup. And again, if I lose, it's just RNG. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. And it's not my fault, because it's RNG. Dude, I want to believe it's just me. If I just mash fast enough, I can always win that mini game. I want to believe that so much, but I... Like, I don't know what to believe now. If it's RNG, or I need to mash better. I can't tell. Maybe, but I can't tell. I was mashing both buttons. Kind of fast, at least. And I was still a bit behind. It, it's one. It's impossible for me to like somehow dictate the speed of the mash that, that's that I'm needed. Because desperation will always hit, and I'll always over mash to ensure that I get it. Like me going slow on mashing on that is like kind is like mashing slow on the mecha marathon. Because that one, it's definitely, it's definite, if I mash slow, I will land a short distance. So I lose only due to my inability, which is worse. Try, I don't have a rumble pack, it's, um, it's a memory card. Ugh, practice. Fuck. Okay, order a rumble pack. And then what, just take it out? <laughs> this, there's no like... It doesn't really make sense to me like, try different matching speeds. So I was like, again, it's... Still probably just RNG. Insert it once, then remove it. Okay. Like, just the idea itself doesn't sound like, right. Man, my lips are so chapped. Why? You're so chapped about that honeycomb? I mean, kinda, yeah. Oh, this piranha dude is talking to me. Oh, I got a minigame. Nice. Oh, another one. Nice. <sighs> Alright. Why is my phone doing that? Oh, he just woke up. Wait, why did I DM him? Oh, I got Desert Dash? Wait, how can you read that? Do you know Japanese? Why did Abe just DM me? Oh no, I DM'd him, but I forgot what I was trying to ask him. Oh wait, no, now I remember. For a good second, I honestly forgot. Okay. No, that's, that's always been the game that he gives. Oh, okay. Okay, how the hell would I even practice this? Because the, the setup of the branches is also kind of important. Alright, let me try like a more moderate, like, conservative mashing.
No, this is a bad setup. Okay, see, when that happens, my only resolve now is to mash faster. Faster. There's no way in hell slower mashing is going to somehow guarantee a win. That does not make logical sense. I can't get into a good mashing position because of these fucking armrests. Mash in a tuned fashion? What does that mean? Okay, I've done what I think is the same speed twice and I've lost both. So unless that's again RNG, slow mashing that will help. Then try faster. Why didn't I think of that? Thank you for the idea. Try going slower at the end and then fatter at the start. Okay, I'll, I'll try going fatter. Nope. Yeah, it worked that time. I went like just as fast as I needed to like just keep pace and then I super mashed. It's under info. up it looks like you go slower yeah because I'm uh, when I'm too high the the rest of the pole has yet to load in or like show up on screen so I'm going slow to wait for more of the pole to show up do you think it matters where you're positioned either high or low at the mast that's the one part I couldn't figure out like do I need to be low on the mast and have all the all the po pole load in and then I can fast mash or just like go crazy or do I have to always stay on top and just like just stay up there I'm, I'm stuck between just admitting this is RNG as cope or thinking I have to mash like um, supersonic Okay, I got it again. If you truly believe I don't deserve to be mod, then you can take it away. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take away your mod. Just to see if you're standing by your word. Alright, there you go. Look how depressed you made him. He's not dep- Well, hold on. I didn't- no, I didn't. I'm trying to practice this thing. Hold on. Okay. Now that controller is unmodded, you'll see the power dynamic in this stream remain consistent. How having no mod still results in the exact same chat experience. I won again. How? Anarchy, we need him back. <laughs> Somebody's gonna say the N word. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, well, it's, it's gonna be the exact same. Just a bunch of drama queens. I think it means actually like type it because you can't say a word and like you type words in chat, you don't say them. Oh. I thought I had it, but.
controls have followed you since the Pornhub speedrun. Oh yeah, I remember that. You know the weirdest part? I think that Pornhub run is still my most viewed video on my YouTube channel. I like, I think 2,000 views. I think it's still like my highest viewed one. He deserves a mod. In spirit, he does. In practicality, no, he doesn't. Because there's no reason to have a mod. Okay, I only won that because there was no more. You were more unhinged. Unhinged ultimate back then? Was I? I'm not sure how I was, because I feel like I've, I've been the exact same. I mean, even before then, when I, when I, didn't, play, when I didn't play games, I was doing more just chatting. Trying to be family friendly on a Pornhub run? I mean, no, there was. I mean, like, there was no need to be. I was just watching a video for 10 hours. Like, family friendly wasn't even a factor. I was just. I was just doing it, you know? I'm power tripping. I'm not power tripping. I'm power. Realizing, I guess. No, I wasn't watching actual porn, I was just watching the porn up intro. I was watching the porn up intro for 10 hours. And I think actually it, it is my highest viewed video. I think still today. So many years after. Now, if you give him his mod back, you don't need to pay the 78%. I wasn't paying it to begin with, or at all anywhere in the timeline so no i'm 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 okay it's in the contract i don't recall ever signing a contract you can't produce any legal documents documents that have my signature on them okay in the beginning i was i was winning them and now i'm not it's just RNG chat. This minigame is just RNG. I have to cope with that fact. I have to co cope with my fucking inabilities. I have to call it a night. What time is it for me? Yeah, I'll probably call it a night too. Because I'm I'm off my schedule. This is, this, is, this is not my normal stream time. But I'll bring it back to normal stream time. Or at least I'll try to fix it tomorrow, and then uh, the day after, I'll be uh, normal stream schedule. So Dollar, I've already had a free position. I heard. <laughs> now I don't have a free position. I'm not considering any mods right now. I feel castrated. Don't just look down. You'll still see you have your dick and balls. You kind of brought it upon yourself, Control, so true. You kind of did. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. Sorry about this This late night, late night random ass stream thing. I did again. Got busy with other stuff, but I'll get back on schedule tomorrow and the following day. But thank you all for watching. Hope you had a great time. I'll do my best face. I will do my best. I feel used for three years. Like a long term. Oh, Gerby's is live. Nice. Perfect. I haven't had anyone to raid, like anyone decent to raid in a while. Have a good rest of your mornings, afternoons, and evenings. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah, that's that.